station. They are NASA astronaut Joe Acaba there on the left, Alexander Mazurkin from Roscosmos in the middle, and Mark Vanahai on the right there. They're packed inside the Soyuz MS-06 spacecraft, which is just a few kilometers away now from the International Space Station. And pretty soon it's going to be going through all the final phases as it makes its final approach, ultimately docking to the Poisk module on the station. This is a module facing towards space, so on the top side of the station, also known as the Mini Research Module Number 2, and they're scheduled to dock there in 40 minutes, 37 seconds and counting, uh, all of that being done automatically. And we're already starting to get great view from the Soyuz itself. This view right here showing the crosshairs with the station almost dead in the center there as it is continuing to approach. There's a lot of data on the screen here. Two things just really pay attention to in the bottom left corner. You'll see two numbers. The one that says, I think, 5.46 and counting down right now. That's how far away they are. So they're about 5.4 kilometers still away from the International Space Station. The number just below that is the rate of closure. Basically, how quickly they're approaching the station, and that's in meters per second. So, right now, approaching at about 8.6 meters per second, and now getting a pretty spectacular view from one of the cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. This one of the HD cameras, the Soyuz Square in the middle of your view there. Again, they're just over the southeastern part, just about to fly over Melbourne, actually, in Australia. So, getting a good look uh, at the Tasman Sea just about to come into view while the Soyuz continues to close in, coming up on just about a half a kilometer away. It's okay. 560 meters is the current range, and the rate is 153, and the word S is nominal. So another view from one of the cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. This one does carry a bit of a yellow hue to it due to some issues with the color sensor. So this not in real color, but you can see the Soyuz continuing to fly around. It's almost at the done of the, it's almost complete with this fly around state. It's a little under 200 meters away from the station right now. Should be starting station keeping in about a minute or so. And the Soyuz flying automatically, that Coors Rendezvous system driving the vehicle towards that docking port. Should just be a few minutes away from that initial contact and capture. And you can see some shadows beginning to crop up on the vehicle. The sun actually about to set on the International Space Station while it's flying over the southern Pacific Ocean right now. Proceed, please, with the report. The diameter of the docking port is two squares, 30 meters, uh, 0.14 is the rate. The target is in the center of the periscope. Copy. Two and a half squares is the diameter of the docking port. The target is the half of the square to the right of the crosshairs. Range is 10 meters. The rate is 0 0.12, and a square and a half is the, uh, the target. Uh, the target is in the center of the periscope. Uh, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. 2.5 squares. Uh, is the length, the target is in the middle. Single digits just nine meters away. Very close now to docking. We'll get you an exact time, but very close now for the Soyuz docking to the Poisk module. So the target length is three squares. Standing by for contact and capture. We're standing by for the contact, Moscow. Contact. We have mechanical contact and uh, uh, we have docking mechanism engaged. Uh, great. Copy. 
9.55 And you heard it, contacting capture, docking confirmed. 9.55 p.m. Central Time, 10.55 p.m. Eastern Time. While the International Space Station flew about 255 statute miles over the southern Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Chile.